Uh, good evening to all of you. I hope uh, you have already watched the part one of my video. So I welcome to all of you my channel. Uh, for the newcomers who, who all have not seen the first part of the video, please do have a look at the first part uh, by the name of the UPSC prelims paper analysis 2021 part one. Uh, in that, in the first video, I had already discussed about the first 25 questions of the UPSC prelims and I had showed that the uh, questions, they, they were mainly easy questions. Well, on, yes, definitely few questions were tough, but yes, if your basics were strong, you could have attempted those questions. So I helped you all in building the confidence in prelims. So same way, now we'll com complete our rest of the questions. So please do watch the first video. Okay. So now, um, if we continue with our question, so let's look at the first question, 26. So over here, what we find, we find that it directly says, which one of the following is a filter feeder. So in this scenario, it basically talking about filter feeder. So now in this case, you may see at one, one step ahead. Usually we study about uh, organisms, right? Or we study about other nature, like critically endangered, vulnerable, but we hardly study about the properties of the animals. But last year, UPC went one step ahead. You don't have to worry about such questions because you can't remember the properties of the all the animals. There are a lot of animals, a lot of species are present in gene properties and all. So, so we have to restrict ourselves to some extent. So in such cases, what you have to do, you have to just focus on the uh, list of the vulnerable and uh, critically endangered animals. And such type of questions have to be left. Why such questions are coming? Basically, uh, our IS exam, prelims exam have, has been merged with Indian Forest Service exam. So due to this reason, UPC has been asking tough questions in environment because uh, environment is the domain of the Indian Forest Service and even they have to be checked on the basis of environment. So that's why we have to face such questions in the environment. Otherwise, you don't have to worry about such questions. Now, moreover, if you have to analyze such questions, still you can get a fair idea. Although we can attempt this question until unless we don't know which all organisms are filter feeder, but but yes, what we need to keep in mind is uh, all this answer is C. Okay? But what we need to keep in mind that catfish, catfish has been used for in, in our previous paper also. In 2017, 18, this paper also catfish term has been used. Similarly, octopus has been used, and also pelican birds are in, they are frequently in use. So you should be aware of all these organisms, which are kingdom they they are part of kingdom animalia, kingdom plantae, then their territorial animals or uh, mar uh, marine animals, or also freshwater or saline water animals. So all these factors, just basic information you have to collect all these. Because now if these terms are being mentioned in our future exam also, then you should be well prepared to answer that. Or also through elimination, you can answer it. So this is how basically this question was mainly was to be left. You need not worry, other questions would be attemptable. Now comes, if you look at the 27th question, what we find, it is simple, basic question on the environment. But why we were not able to attempt this question? Because we have been focusing on the topics of environment, uh, legal issues, then animals issue, right? Then pollution and in uh, climate change. These issues have been our core areas, focus, focus core areas. But we were neglecting the basics of the environment. In two, three years back also, UPSC had asked the question on the definition of ecosystem. That was basic question and many of them got that question wrong. Same way, this time UPSC asked in ecosystem only further took a step functions of the ecosystem. So one of the functions of the ecosystem is biogeochemical cycles. So and this question was also very simple. If you had just basic idea of biogeochemicals, still you, you would be able to answer it. Because in biogeochemicals, what do we have? Atmospheric reserve and lithospheric reserve, or you, or you call it a sedimentary reserve. So this question is simply asking weathering of rocks. That means weathering of rock means minerals are present in rocks and through weathering they are released. So sedimentary phase, so, so directly question phosphorus cycle. But yes, for analysis purpose, we should be aware of that all these cycles you should be well aware of. And nitrogen cycle, this is a favorite topic of UPSC. UPSC has been asking on the question of the nitrogen cycle. Okay, how atmospheric nitrogen is converted into nitrates, nitrites, then used up by the plants. So which are bacteria are involved or fungi are involved. So this question <coughs> has been asked in, in the past year also. So this is how we have to do. 
now next comes same detritivorous this is also function of ecosystem one of the function of ecosystem is food chain food web so some are raising animals raising food chain and some are detritivorous food chain so same bit if we look, look at this question although we do find many options like millipedes and voltaics you have not heard about still you can attempt this question to elimination we know detritivorous earthworms from so one is correct but we also know jellyfish and sea horses they are the fish organisms they don't feed on the detritivorous so two and four are wrong So if we look at the options two, 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 so answer is one, three, and five. But yes, further step, what what we need to take is that we need to be aware of millipedes and voltaics, which which are what are these organisms and where do they live? Either they are marine organisms or terrestrial, and what are their properties? So two, three points that you should be well aware of, so that if in future you can see mention some question millipedes, so you should be well aware of. All right. So now let's look at twenty nine. In twenty nine, what we find question is asking common carbon metric supported by UNFP. Now this question is tight question. If you have read in the current fair, then you can attempt. If you have have not read it, then don't go for blind guesses, <laughs> because all the options will would look similar. So there are very high chances that you will end up marking wrong and you'll end up with a minus point point six seven. So rather than granting positive marks, you will end up with negative marking for us, and that's very harmful for us. So in such questions, if you have read in the current fair, then attempt. Otherwise, leave it. Its answer was A. The carbon footprint of building operations around the world. All right. So such questions have to be left. This question keep it in the category of leaving question. If you have not read in the current fair, and now if such questions are asking, don't fall for the institutes that they are claiming that we have covered it in such uh, current fair news. No, don't fall it. Whatever current fair you are falling. Just stick to one institute and keep revising it. Don't study multiple institutes. Current fair. Don't go after that. You have to look look for cost benefit also, and you have to look for your time also. And you can't read everything. You you have to keep study limited sources and keep revising it. That that is the key to crack prelims. All right. Let's look at third year question. It talks about symbiotic relation with other organisms. So these species. Now we clearly know fungi. We study our lichens, fungi and algae. Also, protozoa. We study protozoa makes symbiotic relation with algae, bacteria, and also some multicellular organisms like termites. So these two we know. If you look at uh, these two, so we get stuck between one, two, and three, and two and three. So answer could be B and D. So so we need to have clarity about cnidarians also. So now see about cnidarians. If you you will observe this is every day uh, coming into news. But through some other name, through corals, and corals we know it forms the symbiotic relation. Like the corals, me, which are basically they forms symbiotic relation with algae. This called the dino flagellate algae, right? Or you call it as zoos and club. One corals, one one such type of a cnidarian, so be. Also another type of coral that you can see and ask in future is herma type. But don't worry if you know don't know the answer then leave it. But yes, this nidarian sometimes is frequently used in news, so you should be well aware of. If any term you encounter in the newspaper, you should have a basic idea. You should find out if that topic or that term is somehow related with your basics, the basic subjects that you are studying. If yes, then write it in your notes. Otherwise, leave it. Alright. So this was the right question. That but yes, some of you don't know about this. You can safely leave it. It's okay. But yes, I would say it should have it should have been attempted question. But still, if you look at out of these five questions from twenty six to thirty, we can still attempt two questions safely. Two questions which are to be left twenty six and twenty nine and thirty eight we are dicing. Either could be attempted or either could not be attempted. So keep it in a circle or zone, so fifty fifty zone. Come after second or third reading of the uh, question paper, then at see whether you have to attempt it or not. But I would suggest you. If you have no idea, then don't go for blind guesses. Just leave that question. Okay. Now let's look at thirty-first question. Thirty-first question basically talks about with reference to Chaucer Yogni Temple near Morena. The following statement: so it, it says that this temple, it is a circular temple built by this dynasty, and it is the only circular temple. Whenever in UPC, keep in mind whenever it, it is absolute, only, only, least, at least something like that term is used, then always. Do have a suspicious toward option. It will always most of the time end up as a wrong option. But I am not saying it's absolute. 
कि एवरी टाइम इट वुड बी रॉन्ग बट मैक्सिमम टाइम लाइक वट आई हैव ऑब्जर्व थ्रो मी एक्सपीरियंस दैट मैक्सिमम टाइम इट एंड एज अ रॉन्ग ऑप्शन ओनली देन इट ऑक्स बोर्ड इट मोस्ट वैशन ऑफ कल्ट एंड ऑल्सो आर पार्लियामेंट बिल्डिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑल आई वुड से यू शुड बी वेल अवेयर ऑफ दिस टेम्पल चोसर योगनी टेम्पल इट इज वेल कवर्ड इन दी आर्ट एंड कल्चर टॉपिक इन योर एनसीआर टी और वट एवर सोर्स रीडिंग नितिन सिंह हानिया इट इज वेल कवर्ड इन इट इट इज मैंशन इन इट ब्रीफली दिस इज वन शॉर्ट ऑफ टेम्पल तो यू शुड बी वेल अवेयर ऑफ दिस आर टेम्पल फॉर योगिनीज फॉर योगीज तो यू मस्ट हैव सेडीड वॉक भक्ति मूवमेंट ड्यूरिंग भक्ति मूवमेंट वी हैड योगी सिद्धांत सो फॉर दैम सो इफ इफ योगीज के स्ट्राइक दैन डेफिनेटली थर्ड कैनोट बी ऑप्शन those yogis didn't promoted vaishnav culture so third option is wrong right so now we are stuck if we look at the answer if third gets eliminated only options are left a and c so one is correct so this options now we are stuck in two and four we have to choose between two and four so now if we look at the logic of only then even two gets eliminated so answer becomes c and c is the correct answer but otherwise if you are still not aware He, it is right or only circular temple, then just leave this question. Just go for it. You can safely leave it. You will need to show God's strength to leave such questions. But yes, what analysis now you have to do? You should be well aware of Chaucer temples. Then also you should be well aware of which all circular temples are present in India. And also at the same time, you should be aware of Parliament building. Government is going for Vista project. To have do have a look at basic of the Vista project on what it is based on. What is the ideology? Why government is building? What material is being used? Any special kind of feature is there in it? You should be well aware of. And this was the reason why UPSC asked this question. All right, thirty second question, very simple question, should have been attempted by all. This was, this this was in news in current affairs also, and also you study in basics. When you study Indus Valley Civilization, you do study about only place which is having elaborate. I I won't say only other places also. Lothal was also there, but since option is not there, Lothal. But we find in during Indus Valley civilizations system having elaborate water irrigation system. It is Dola Bira, and why it was in news last year? It was a World Heritage site. It was declared as World Heritage site. So this was simple question, cake of question should have been attempted. Thirty third question for you. I know it was a bouncer question. You were not able to attempt, but I would say it should have been attempted. It shows that you you had not prepared your syllabus properly because. Uh, what happened in last two years? Spectrum got updated. Spectrum's modern history, and in that uh, spectrum updated, initially first two three chapters are on Europeans, and in that chapter is clearly mentioned about where all Britishers had set up the factories and which areas, and in which year. The question was tightly on that, so it was from books. So you can't say this question could not be attempted. So if you couldn't attempt it, that means you have not read the book properly. Spectrum is the must for the UPSC. Answer was A. Okay. Then, if you look at thirty fourth, thirty fourth question, it is a very interesting question. I really like this question. Why? Because if you were not able to attempt this question, or if you were crying, ki what kind of question has been asked? It was basically it was it shows la your lack of analytical skills. Because in twenty twenty UPSC prelims had asked the question similar lines. One kingdom was there, and it had asked the contemporary kingdoms. So, if you had analyzed the twenty twenty paper, then. First thing that should have struck in your mind that I need to change my approach towards history. I need to even look at the if I am studying some major kingdoms, Gupta, Marathas, or any kingdom. So I should have a look at the map also over the contemporary kingdoms of these major powers. So this was the same question that was asked. So in NCERT, you do find maps are given sometimes in history. So those maps are really important. Map space question was asked. So if you are not able to attempt, that means you are not paying the all aspects of the NCERT book. This was a direct question should have been attempted. And through elimination, you you will be even in that map some small kingdoms won't be mentioned, but major major kingdoms would be mentioned. And through that, you can use that elimination technique and you can attempt this question. So this question could have been attempted. So answer to this question was mainly uh, Paramaras came later. These are Rajputs came later. So after Harshvardhan only came. So second option to got eliminated automatically, right? <coughs> so now left B and B. So now, if you had studied about uh, that those maps and all, you will find that Yadavs also came late. So answer is one three four six B. So two and five were eliminated, and you will be able to attempt this question. So see, the question is not tough. Rather, what is the issue is you need to have approach. 
their approach should be right towards the UKC position. You need to step out of your slumber zone and you need to stop pre preparation from the college point of view. You have to study the subjects, topics from your UPSC point of view, how UPSC is demanding those topics. All right. 35th question should have been attempted, I would say, because Vijayanagar is a favorite topic of UPSC. Last year also, on question came on Vijayanagar Empire, Kalyan Mandap, it belongs to which empire? Vijayanagar. So Vijayanagar should have been attempted. And in updated Tamil Nadu history, it is clearly mentioned what are roles women perform. So you should be well aware of it. All right, so answer was all correct. And also, it talks about Portuguese writers. So you should be well aware of now, further step that you have to take is all the travelers that came to Portuguese and what was the chronology, which all came and what all books they wrote. You should be well aware of. And also Vijayanagar Empire, the same way for other empires also, you should study what was the role of women. Then other aspects, social, economic, political aspect, you should be well aware of. All right. Now, if you look at 37 question, if you look at these all are places of the IBC. Burza whom we study, it's located in Jammu Kashmir. We don't find any rock cut shrines. So first option was wrong. Ganeshwar, Ganeshwar culture, we find copper. Yes, it is correct. But we are not sure about Chindu, Chindra, Ketugar. And I don't think so anyone would be aware of it. Except history optional. I don't think so anyone would be aware of it. Why? Basically, this is not mentioned in books. In 2017, this site was located. IVC site. Usually we find IVC site in uh, indo gangetic plains. So this was located in West Bengal region. Excavated. So this was in news. So that's why this option was correct. All right. So this, this was the reason why this question came. Two and three is the answer. So although we don't have to read the current affair, we just have to stick to the current affair of last one or one and a half years. That's it. Don't go after you now started in 2017, 18, 14 current affair. No, don't waste your time on that. All right. 38 question. This simply shows you are not reading the books if you're not able to attempt this question. These statements are directly picked up from the books and you are supposed to read those books. If you're preparing for NCERT, you have to read all the books. Directly came. You do know during the reign of El Tutmish, Genghis Khan clearly mentioned the NCRT. And also during Mohammed bin Tughlaq time, would no, uh, during the successors of the Mohammed bin Tughlaq, or you can say last rulers of the uh, Tughlaq dynasty, during that period, Taimur came and Taimur defeated and he established Sayyid Dynasty. So even if you have studied the basic, you should be able to say second is wrong. First is correct. And third vote, yes, I know because it talks about exact date, you may not be aware. So still, uh, you get confused. But if you look at the questions, if second gets eliminated and one is correct, so answer always has to be 38A. But yes, if you're confused between three also, one and three, then leave such questions. But such questions have to be attempted. I would say it, these questions are not to be left because these are answer, questions from the NCRT. 36 question, yes, this question had to be left because we hardly said you were Mandana Palle of Andhra Pradesh. It, it has, in this question, UPC has gone too specific of history. This is beyond the general studies, scope of genesis, but beyond our books of NCRT. So it's okay, you can leave this question, but yes, what we have to do because such, such question has been asked and we have to prepare ourselves for the next year. So in such question, what you have to do? First of all, you should be aware of where, where is Mandana Palle, what is significance for then all these leaders, Pingali, Venkia, Patavi, Sitar, Ramiya, Ramindana Tagore, Madam Balavatsky, who all were there and what role they played in during freedom struggle. And why this question was asked? Answer is C. Because last year, Ramindana Tagore was in a lot of news because of Bangladesh, 50 years complete with it. And also, uh, our Prime Minister Modi ji, he was uh, emulating the, the same beard, which, which was kept by Ramindana Tagore. So that's why it was in use. But how can we expect that Ramindana Tagore ye wala question it, it is very difficult to guess. So in such questions, just leave it. Right? Similarly, 39th question had to be left. It is again, he was now updated spectrum. And also, um, regarding church, it was a lot of the, uh, it was not in use. Regarding secularism issue that emerged with respect to uh, church in Kerala, Goa. So that's why UPSC had framed this question. But we don't have any content regarding it. So you don't have to fetch for such content. Rather, just leave such questions. All right. Also, you can simply imagine it says this Fran Saint Francis Xavier died in Goa. How can we expect when he very died? We hardly go too much specific of which Christian missionary came and very died. 
hard we just study Christian missionary came and they were responsible for the spread of Christianity, Christianity and English language. But we hardly said what when they came, what they did. No, we are not concerned about that. So such questions have to be left. All right. Then if you look at 41st question, simple question, it should have been attempted. We do study in art and culture Bahavuti. It is a playwright. It is a literature book. So it should have been attempted. Although if you may not be aware of Hastimal and Shimeshwar, but still via Bhavabhuti, you should have been able to guess it. Simple question is just shows that you are not studying NCRTs and art and culture books properly. Again, if you look at 42nd question, same question, easy question. UPSC has been asking questions on the constitutional acts like 1773 onwards in 1947. UPSC has been asking question on it. So you should be well aware of all the constitutional acts which Brit Britishers brought and what were the provisions. So diet questions on that. It's a simple question. First is wrong. Simply because voting rights to all the women. All the women were granted voting rights only after independence. So this statement had to be wrong. And again, it is absolute statement because it is using all. So do read that absolute statement all only again and again. Then it talks about Government of India reserved seats in legislature for women. Yes, electorate was granted for women. So yes, second is right. I hope this question is easy. Same way if you look at 43rd question, diet question, simple question. 8th August 1942. It is simple question. We know good India resolution. That's it. You don't have to read all this. All right. Then if you look at 40th question, yes, this was the beyond the scope of the NCRT, but no issue. Such questions have to be left. But yes, for the next year, you should be well aware of with this Mitakshara system and with this Teabak system. In, in future, if UPC asks questions on this, you should be well aware of. Its answer was basically only two was correct. First and three was wrong. So you should be well aware of. This is what you have to do. Don't, go, don't start fetching for more such terms in ancient history. No. So you will find thousands of words. How much can you remember? You can't remember all. So you have to put full stop. Such questions have to be left. Similarly, if you look at 44th question, if we, uh, if we uh, look at 26 till 43 question, here, 26 to 43, although they have been some few tough questions, around 5 to 7, but still, rest of the questions, we have we are able to attempt it through a basic. So don't build your pressures. Paper can be attempted through calmness, composed nature. All right. If you look at 44th question, we find songs from prison. So who uh, translated it? So we don't know. If you are aware of, if you have studied about Gandhi a lot, then you can attempt it. Otherwise, such questions have to be left. His answer was Gandhi. But how, how can we remember what all Gandhi did? He did a lot of things. Now, we don't have to start doing PhD on Gandhi. No. Whatever source we have, spectrum anxiety, that's it. If question comes out of it, that means if you don't know, other person is also not knowing. We just have to clear the cutoff. So don't start studying new materials. No, don't change that. All right. Then for 45th, this should have been attempted by you all. Every year questions are coming on the political setup of these kingdoms, ancient and medieval. Every year question is coming. So you should follow medieval. Looking at the question should have been your first insight. It, it talks about Mughal period and during Mughal, Mughal period, what was their kingdom? Kingdom was divided into Parganas, which is provinces. Then it was further divided into Sarkars and Subhas. So simple hierarchy. So this should have been your answer. Sorry, I have written uh, reverse order. Sorry, it is Subha, Sarkar, and Parganas. Yes, we talk on 24 Parganas in Bengal. So that was the group of villages. So Subha, Sarkar, Parganas. So answer is A. Not C. Because it is talking about ascending order. All right. So simple question then. Now what you have to keep in mind that whenever you study <coughs> ancient medieval, so for all the kingdoms, Mughal, uh, Marathas, Delhi, Sultanate, whatever you know, so that you should be well aware of how they call the different regions in what terms, like provinces, districts, villages, single villages, you should be well aware of. This question has is been under trend in last uh, many years. All right. Now, if you look at 46 question, diet question, social reform movement, say simply Bethun school, if you read Bethun school, Ishwar Chandra Pita So, this, this shows that we have to study social reform movement properly. Even last year, question came on social reform movement, even this year. So this should be uh, well studied. You should be having great hold on this topic. Same 47, easy question. 
देखो अगर टफ डालो तो इजी क्वेश्चन भी आ रहे हैं ये फोर्टी सिक्स इजी था फोर्टी सेवन भी इजी है सिंपली इफ यू रीड दिस नेम्स दैट मीन्स दे वर ऑफिस ऑफ एंड यू डोंट हैव टू थिंक अबाउट नेम दिस अ बेसिक क्वेश्चन Similarly, forty-eight should have been attempted by all. You all can't see, can't be attempted. UPSC has been throwing the light on this area, ah, uh, this Maratha period, or you can say post-Mughal period and rise of different kingdoms: Awadh, Bengal, Mysore, Marathas, Hyderabad. So UPSC means also question came Battle of Panipat, Third Battle of Panipat. So UPSC has been giving us hints that this area is also important. Don't ignore it. Rather, what we do, we we stop for medieval at Mughals and we start at uh start a modern from this uh british time well post battle of plassey but in between period we leave it we don't study but upsc seeing study that also because it is also part of history so this was simple question yes after carnatic war hyderabad seat se par code ban gaya tha and vijayanagar empire declined to mysore ban gaya so first two and correct if you are not aware of this kamal shah durrani of third still you can attempt this question a is correct But yes, for next time you should be aware of who will hunt. How was it made? At that time, leader was who? So simple question. What we see effort is just you have to study properly. Now simply, fortnight should have been attempted. This agenda case. I know many of you are saying that this question was tough. Not study. Why not study? Because you have been studying Tamil Nadu history, but you didn't study updated one. Which was updated two years back. Simply spectrum. updated spectrum se question hai similarly tamil nadu history updated se question hai so this question was should have been simple clearly mentioned tamil nadu history of updated one ke janta ke slice in the cause of bhagora river but now further what you need to do you should be well aware of what is gorges in geography where is bhagora river kaise originate ho gaya sources kya hai kahan pe end ho gaya kiske tributary hai similarly of chambal narmada river these these lines for all these you need to collect the basic historical and geographical knowledge Then fiftieth question. Fiftieth question was why this was asked. It was Bangladesh who again fiftieth year celebrated with the last year, and we know why Bangladesh was separated because of this reason only. Because they were demanding Bangladesh has separate language. They didn't want to study Urdu. So this option is correct. And regarding first option, yes, some of you might be knowing, some of you won't be knowing. It's okay if you leave that question. But yes, if you had been reading articles last year continuously, then you must have found that twenty first February was clearly mentioned because. Mother language because we came up with a uh, new education policy. Also, in that we are talking about mother language, a uh, based education to primary schools, and also this date was continuously mentioned again and again in the articles. So this shows you have not read the articles, but yes, but one thing you have to learn from here is that now don't start preparing the list. That twentieth September will be out there, twenty second March will be out there, twenty seventh March will be out there. Yeah, this date will be there. You don't. You can't remember for all three sixty five days. No, don't, no need to go after that. Give us UPSC. As a question, actually, that you are distracted or just your preparation. Say no. As a question, leave it. But yes, but yes, this is what you have to ask. Right now, fifty first question. It was really simple question. Should have been attempted by you all. It simply says permaculture versus conventional chemical farming. So conventional chemical farming simply is a green revolution based farming. Permaculture. There is a rise of concept of sustainable agriculture. He hears every day you will talk about if any uh, news regarding agriculture comes, it is talking about sustainable agriculture. That it should be low emission, high productivity, right, and resilient agriculture. So, उसके लिए हम कैसे करें? Why organic agriculture? Then second green revolution की बात करें precision agriculture and one of the it also includes permaculture. This should be well aware. What is permaculture? It is based on sustainable agriculture. So, if you analyze. Instead of reading it, reading it as permaculture, keep it substituted with sustainable agriculture. And now compare, you will see all the answers options would get attempted. So it was so easy question. Answer was B. It was just you have to understand what is permaculture. Right question based on that. But yes, you should be well aware of agriculture is emerging as the favorite topic of UPSC in both prelims and mains, and and it is going one step for, forward. That means in prelims. UPSC have started asking factual questions on agriculture. So do read budget survey and do collect basic uh, data of agriculture. All right. Okay. Now comes fifty second. It based on palm oil. Now this questions everyone for for comfortably able to attempt second and third option. Those oil 
oil is used in perfumes, lipstick, and also used for biodiesel. Everyone was sure about that. They all got stuck in the third option, first option. Sorry, why? They, they were not. Everyone was saying we have not read anywhere. I am saying you have read it. It's just you. You were not concerned about it. You in environment you study a topic of gene pools. It is clearly in that topic mentioned where our ancestor wild pool of genes of animals and plants that we are using are found. So it is clearly mentioned in Africa palm oil um, wild genes are found. So on the basis of that, this question should have been attempted. Answer should have been two and three. So you can't say this question UPSC had asked randomly. No, even palm oil was in news a lot. Thus, government came up with the new scheme of uh, palm oil pl plantation. Thus, we need to reduce the dependence of palm oil on, on Malaysia. So, it was all in news. So, you should be well aware of such thing. Whatever government is taking, you should be well aware of oil seeds promotion. Kar rahe. All right. So, this question. Should, so, now what you have to be well aware of gene pools topic. This is again basics of environment that we tend to ignore. You should study about it properly. One more question would be there on gene pools. All right. Then consider following rivers. Now, which are rise from the eastern bars? This question should have been attempted by you all through elimination also, otherwise basic knowledge also. As we know, Brahmani and Subhanika, they originate from Chota Nagpur Plateau, not from eastern bars. So you should be well aware of, first of all. Then we don't know about Nagavali. It's okay if you don't know. But Vamsatara should have been known. In 2015-16, in one of these years, prelims pre may UPC in Vamsatara ke baare mein that means you have not analyzed your past year paper properly. So, once you know that this rises from Eastern Arts and it forms the boundary between Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. That was the question asked by the UPSC. So, once you know that 4 you know and you know 1 and 3 is So, answer obviously 2 and 4. Rega. Now, what you have to be well aware of all these rivers, where they originate, where they flow, where they drain, where they city se are, and also uh, in case root cup identity, on the states they pass. So do prepare such information now. Ye do questions for the chair. If you say ye do questions new in a 53-54, I would say you're not reading NCRT properly. I know you won't find this. Aapko maps in milling NCRT where I mean. But if you go after history and CRT, Uswe maps saying it clearly mentioned when Alexander attacked, even when uh Aryans, Indo Aryans came and settled in Indus Valley region. Clearly, NCRT mentioned the rivers. Even geography NCRT clearly mentioned that this rivers map it shows. It clearly shows all these tributaries are all these rivers are the tributaries of Satluj. And Satluj then joins the Indus. It's a simply observation question. So you should have been well aware of. But NCRT chapter uh, jo Indian Geography Valley book may be clearly mentioned about this. So drainage system. Wala, yeah. And if you have all have any problem with this, even uh, I have recorded a video on uh, Indian rivers. You can have a look at it. I have, uh, I can share the file also. You can just mention in the comments. I'll share the file of that uh, topic and do have a look at that videos. In that video, I have covered about all the rivers, which all the main tributaries of that. Because UPSC has been asking question on the tributaries from time to time. So if you're interested, you can watch that video. It's on my channel itself. All right. Then same 54 question should have been attempted. Why? The Dwana Lake. We do study about in history. In, in NCRT history and NCRT is clearly mentioned. The Dwana Lake. That means you are not studying the places that are mentioned in the history books properly. Don't think that that has to be studied for optional. No. That can be studied for GS also. For optionals, they are high level advanced books. But NCRTs are for the GS purpose. So don't ignore such places. So answer was directly Saline Lakes. Also, Khartu, if you are aware of Khartu Sham is a place in Rajasthan, so through that also you could have placed it. But still, now what, what is the job that you have to do? You should be well aware of Tidwana, Khartu, Sargol, Kuchman. Where are they located? In which states are they located? And what kind of lakes they are? All right. What kind of organisms are found? So this should be your role now. So don't ignore it. This is your analysis. All right. Now 56, this should have been attempted. Seriously. If you all att attempted this question on that means you are not reading the current affair. In every year, every day, every week, we get to hear about the India has got the rights to explore 
um, minerals in the Central Indian Ocean region, and government is um, trying to promote the blue economy. So exp exploration of mineral is part of blue economy. And and how are we getting licenses? There is an act UN clause. This is in news because China is not accepting the UN clause based judgment in the uh, dispute with Philippines, and also the US doesn't recognize it. But yes, we, on the basis of UN clause based judgment. We have been able to resolve our boundary dispute with uh, Bangladesh. So, right under UN clause, this clearly mentioned a body, International Seabed Authority. So, the, so this grants the license. So, definitely, first option was wrong. If first option is wrong, all options were eliminated. So, definitely, so simple question. Where was the hard work required? I don't think so anywhere. So, it's we who, who create the paper tough, not the UPSC. Now, this is was factual paper. I know many of you don't know about it. That's why I said you need to study about the data that is mentioned in the survey and budget. So this was question on that. Answer was A. Some could have made the blind guesses, but all this efficiency, we don't have data. So such questions should be left also. We can't remember all the data. All right. Fifty eight question. If you see this tight, simple question of the geography, it simply says ocean currents. This is equator. This is tropic of cancer. And this is 60 degree latitude. So what do we find? Trade winds are blowing so because of trade winds is accumulation of warm water. Wind. So warm water is present on the west side of the oceans. And on the eastern side, there is upwelling of water. So we find cold ocean current and cold water. Same way, but in, in case of mid-latitude, we find 30 to 60. Over here, we have warm water. Over here, we have cold water. So this is what is UPSC is asking in this. So, so simple question. Answer was C. This should have been attempted by you all. And same with six set question. So simple question should have been attempted by you all. Simply it says leave it, it talk, it is talking about vegetation. You don't take geography lightly. Right question. It says leaf litter decomposes faster than in, in any other poem. As a result, sur soil surface is almost bare. Because of high temperature, although humus is being created through decomposition, but what is happening? There's a lot of plants present. So all those minerals of the humus get consumed up. So that's why there's no nutrients left for the soil. So soil is um, bare. And also due to heavy rainfall, there is soil erosion. So that is also responsible for the bare soil. And epiphytes are mentioned. So hardly you have to pick up the keywords and answer is tropical rainforest. So now do please study about the vegetation topic properly. Even world climates topic. Don't ignore it. And if you want... Uh, I can upload, make a video on it. These two uh, gives your feedback in the comment section. Then I, I'll make this video for you all. Okay. Now this question 15 should have been left. If you have studied about it in the current field, okay. Otherwise, leave it. It talks about few keywords. Take the first of all, of course, climate smart village. Then be aware of this like, international program, CAFS. Then also Indian like, institution as CGIR, France, May, and Equisite India. So you should be well aware of all this. And also be aware ki ye kya products bana rahe. then also be aware ki India Chu Institute hai, iska chairman kaun hai, kaun iske members appoint kar rahe, funding aari hai, kuch inno ni, kuch innovative kya science and tech mein, then also is it a member of CGIR and what is smart, climate smart village, because ab ye pre means mein aasakta hai kushan, what ho sakta hai, is saal aasakta climate smart village kya hoatta hai, so you should be well aware of a uh, little information about all these keywords, so iska answer basically the all were correct. Okay. Same, they go world climate to first question. If you look at 61st question, what we find? Savanna. So, Savanna, we have the grass vegetation with all small trees, but we don't find large trees. Why? Simple, why we find grass? This question. So, you can see the concept of slug, slug, sorry, sub climate vegetation. So, you can see the maintain of the through fire, through herbivores, and seasonally for less rainfall. So, simple question is 2, 3, 4. I don't think so. It's not much effort. I just, if it's not done, then you world climate topic will not be good. This is the answer. Sixty second. Again, diet question from NCERT. If you have studied plus one key world geography, only NCERT will study. Then there is a diet chapter on water. And in that chapter, water ke chapter mein diet is clearly mentioned. Hai. Distribution of water. It is clearly mentioned. Ninety-seven point five water present in the oceans. Mein. Rest are fresh water. So the fresh water ki composition, ke, we find that 79% fresh water, 79 of fresh water is present in glaciers or ice caps. 
right? Then it says 20% water is present in groundwater and rest water are present in lakes, soil, atmosphere, and rivers. This is in descending order. So this is the pie chart. Pie chart of the so this is the question. So where is the first about this question? So simple question was there. So do read NCRT. If you have a question, you have to read NCRT. You are just going after other topics. Okay. Then again, this direct question, soils. Pe aga. Soil up the black cotton soil. You have a confusion with B and C. Mein. Or, we know she stocks responsible for the gen genesis of black cotton soil in Tamil Nadu. But granite is not. In Deccan Plateau, there are basalt rocks, hai, not granite. So be aware of that. So answer was fissure volcanic rocks. Because when our Indian Peninsula Plateau was crossing the reunion hotspot, so there was fissure volcanic eruption. So this led to the formation of Deccan Plateau and Deccan Plateau ki erosion ki weathering ki se black cotton soil. So simple question was there. Simple NCRT mentioned hai, and you don't have to fight with soil wala chapter NCRT. Hai. Now, if you look at it, 63rd question, now this was tricky question. I would say this question could not be attempted and also could be attempted. But I would say majority of, for you, don't attempt this question, just leave it. But we can still attempt this question. How? First of all, you should be well aware of what is tamarind. It is Imli, Jomkatya. Okay. So, Imli is not the endemic of South Asia. So, we have gene pools wala aga topic. Aapne. It is not the endemic of South Asia. So, second option is wrong. So, if you eliminate the second option is wrong. So, we first get B and C. So, three common. So, three is correct. And yes, Imli is collected as minor forest produce. So, three is correct. Even four is correct. It is says that we export seeds of Emerald and Marimba. So, this is what we So, four is correct. So, now we, are, we have to find between one and five. Which one of them is correct? So, now we, we are not aware of what is Moringa. It is a new term for us. Right? So, we can't say about first. But if you look at fifth, if, if you have studied about the biofuels, biofuels, we don't know edible and non edible seeds use karte to, men, to produce biofuels. So, definitely Moringa and Emerald if seeds use karing him. So, fifth should have been the correct answer. So, the basis the answer is P. But still, if you're confused, then you can just leave this question. But I would say through elimination and through tapping your basic knowledge, you could have attempted this question. And, but, and now, what all you have to do for your next year exam paper? For your upcoming prelims, first of all, you should be well aware what is moringa, where it is found, which vegetation it belongs, then temperament also, where it is found, which all parts of India, then what is the climate condition it requires to grow, then um, what are fruits it produces. Okay, this you have to be well aware of. So I don't think questions tough they attempt for a now. This question should have been attempted. It, it simply talks about vaccines. Vaccines have been used in two years. And question on vaccines have been coming for the past six, five, six years. So this should have been attempted. Vaccines with Apoche Patanjian, last year, different kind of vaccines were in use. Koi company, koi is it like a vaccine in Naditi? DNA based, vector based, different kind of ways. So you should have been attempted this question. If you don't have any vaccine knowledge, so do mention in the comment section that you want the notes on the vaccine. I will upload. I will prepare the content on the vaccine and share the file with you all. So do let me know if you are lacking the content of the vaccine. But this question should have been attempted. So this was a new recombinant vector vaccines. So basically, is make a bacteria is not used, viruses are used as vectors, and also at the same time, <coughs> genetic en engineering is being used because they are manipulating the virus to produce this vaccine. So answer was two is wrong, one is correct. So A was the answer. But yes. To prepare the list of the all the type of vaccines, kis company ne, kaun se vaccine produced ke, kya naam hai, aur kitni efficiency uski. Then also talk about what are the stages of the clinical trials, and at the same time talk about different types of vaccines. Then hum universal immunization program bhi India ka, to wo bhi aapko pata chahiye. Uspe bhi question aaj ke last two, malab aate hi uspe bhi. Alright, so this was biotech ke basic pe question sa. Then if you look at sixty eight question. Uh, last year, there were science ki basic questions. Aye the. But I would say, such questions, you have to take in the books. But if you have time, agar time hai, agar aap was, if you have time, then do read 6 to 10 ki NCRT. So just briefly read it. Because two, three questions came on the science. But still, you can attempt such questions. 
लाइक ये जिनका इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड है तेपर है टेम्परेचर आर्ट्स बैकग्राउंड के लिए मुश्किल था इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड को पता है इसका आंसर वन एंड टू था पर ये आर्ट्स वालों को नहीं पता तो फॉर यू ऑल आई वुड रिकमेंड कि थोड़ी बेसिक्स रिवाइज कर लेना ओके देन वट वी फाइन अगर नहीं आपको प्रॉब्लम आ रही है साइंस पढ़ने में तो यू कैन जस्ट ड्रॉप इन द कमेंट सेक्शन आई विल प्रिपेयर फ्यू लेक्चर्स ऑन द बेसिक साइंस फॉर यू ऑल ओके ओके नो कम्स सिक्स एंड नाइन सी एवरी ईयर क्वेश्चन इज कमिंग इन सेम फॉर्मैट कंसिडर फॉलोइंग बैक्टीरिया समझाई वायरस और बस ये स्टेटमेंट चेंज हो जाती है तो क्वेश्चन हर साल आ रहा है ऐसे बैक्टीरिया फंजी ये तीनों तो आपको अच्छे से आने चाहिए सो नाउ क्वेश्चन केम विश्व ऑफ देम कैन बी कल्चर्ड सिंथेटिकली मतलब लैब में कौन कौन से प्रोड्यूस होते हैं तो बैक्टीरिया एंड फंजाई तो हम प्रोड्यूस कर चुके हैं वी हैव मेनी एग्जांपल्स पेंसिलियम वगैरह हो गए राइट पर वायरस के बारे में हम शोर नहीं है तो देर वॉज एलिगेशन की चाइना ने कोरोना वायरस मैनुफैक्चर किया था इट वॉज मैनुफैक्चर बट इट हैज नॉट बीन प्रूव तो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट यू पी एस सेट की वायरस कैन नॉट बी कल्चर्ड अभी हम इसको वो नहीं कर पा रहे मैनुफैक्चर नहीं कर पा रहे सो आंसर इज वन एंड टू ऑल तो दिस वॉज द बेसिक क्वेश्चन तो ये तीनों के बारे में आपको बेसिक इन्फॉर्मेशन पता होनी चाहिए ओके नो इफ यू लुक एट दी इन दी कंटेक्स ऑफ हेडिटी डिजीज कंसिडर फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट दिस क्वेश्चन शुड हैव बीन अटेम्प्टेड बाई यूर आई वुड से बिकॉज एम आर टी माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रियल रिप्लेसमेंट थेरेपी ये बहुत न्यूज में चल रहा है राइट और इस बायोटेक कोई भी आप करंट फेयर उठाओगे हर मैगजीन में इसके बारे में मैंशन होता है तो दिस क्वेश्चन शुड हैव बीन अटेम्प्टेड इट सिंपली से कि माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रियल तो माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रियल जब बच्चा इनहेरिट करता है वो मदर से करता है फादर से नहीं करता तो दिस इज राइट ऑल्सो माइक्रोकॉन्ड्रियल डिजीज कैन बी ट्रीटेड बिफोर और आफ्टर इन विट ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन गेस ये सही है तो आंसर वो सी सिंपल क्वेश्चन था शुड है अगेन बायोटेक पे क्वेश्चन आ गया बॉल गार्ड टेक्नोलॉजीज इज आर टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट मीन यूज फॉर द इन जी एम टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर द क्रॉप्स इफ यू हैव स्टडी फॉर जी एम टॉपिक प्रॉपरली दिस शुड है अगर नहीं भी हो रहा स्टिल छोड़ सकते हो अगर नहीं आता कोई चकनी सारे क्वेश्चंस नहीं आते बट स्टिल इट इट वुड हैव बीन अटेम्प्टेबल आंसर वाज सॉरी हम बी पर यस अब हमें और क्या करना एक तो फर्स्ट ऑफ यूशली वेल अवेयर ऑफ विच ऑल आर दी बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स उसके टाइप सब टाइप्स कैसे बनते हैं इनका रोल क्या है देन आल्सो बी अवेयर ऑफ व्हाट ऑल आर दी सब्सटेंस रिस्पांसिबल फॉर दी रेगुलेटिंग दी प्लांट ग्रोथ एट द सेम टाइम क्लोनल प्रोपगेशन तो ये आपको कीवर्ड्स आपको यूपीएससी ने हिंट दे दिया तो ये अब आपको एक्सप्लोर करना है Okay. Now, if you look at seventy eight question, what we find, this question should also be have been not tempered. I remember, if you have studied about virus and also you have studied about biotech, you studied about DNA and RNA. So this question was simply based on this one, DNA and RNA. Or, कुछ नहीं था इसमें. This question. अगर नहीं होता, छोड़ दो कुछ नहीं होता. But yes, I would recommend that do study the basics of the biotech. This answer था. B. Only two was correct. डीएनए और क्या कहते हैं सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड बेसिकली आरएनए में होता है नॉट डीएनए इन केस ऑफ डीएनए यस वी हैव डबल स्टैंडर्ड पर रेट्रोवायरस में डीएन डबल स्टैंडर्ड में होता तो ये ऑपोजिट लिखा हुआ था बेसिकली एडिनो वायरस में डबल स्टैंडर्ड है वेर एज रेट्रोवायरस में सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड है ये रिवर्स था एन एड्स हमें पता है रेट्रोवायरस हम पढ़ते ही है राइट दिस क्वेश्चन अगेन बेसिक्स वाटर पे आ गया पर आपको थोड़ा सा अगर बेसिक वाटर का याद हो साइंस का थोड़ा याद हो स्कूल टाइम में वाटर इज डिसोसिएटेड इनटू एच पॉजिटिव एंड ओ नेगेटिव सो थ्रू दिस पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव पोलैरिटी दे आर एबल टू अटैच विद अदर कंपोनेंट्स सॉल्ट वगैरह जो भी हो गया एनएसएल जैसे हो गया और फिर वो सब्सटेंस पे डिसॉल्व करता है तो सिंपल आंसर वाज इट इज डाइपोलर इन नेचर दिस इज द रिस्पांसिबल फॉर द कि वाटर कैसे डिसॉल्व करता है सब्सटेंस को तो दिस वाज सिंपल क्वेश्चन If you look at seventy-fourth question, yes, this question was in news. Actually, newspaper where I mean, I mentioned that the biosphenol is used for the plastics, but it was not mentioned what kind of plastics. The so UPSC went one step ahead. Also, it was in news because plastic waste management rules. Government came up with new in August, so that's why UPSC thought that we need to ask question on plastics. But they involved science concept. So now this became very difficult for us to know. So, ऐसे क्वेश्चन करते छोड़ दो बस प्रियस आंसर क्या था इसका बी पॉलीकार्ब में बहुत कंफ्यूज वाला क्वेश्चन था ये ऐसे क्वेश्चन छोड़ने वाले होते हैं सिमिलरली ये वाला क्वेश्चन ट्राइक्रोजन ये भी क्वेश्चन छोड़ने वाला होता है हमें नहीं पता कम 
कंपोनेंट्स पर अब ये नहीं कि अब सारे कंपाउंड्स के नाम याद करना शुरू करना हूँ जो बेसिक आप इन्वायरमेंट में पढ़ो बस वही काफ़ी है इसका आंसर दिस इज यूज फॉर टॉलिस अब ये नहीं कि आप जाके यू गो एंड स्टार लुकिंग बिहाइंड ऑफ दी हार पे जो पैकेज होता है कि उसमें क्या क्या कंपोनेंट्स यूज होते हैं नो डोंट गो फॉर दैट पर येस फॉर दी फ्यूचर पर्पज टू लुक एट फॉर दी टॉयलिटीज विच ऑल केमिकल आर यूज ऑल्सो फॉर फूड प्रजर्वेटिव then fruit ripening substance and reuse plastic containers which all chemical are used to do do teen teen yaad kar lo bas kafi hai bhai this was in news basically last year government ne cartagena protocol ke under ek committee set up ki thi to usko implement karne ke liye aur kuch ddt ban kar diye the to isliye you can use chalo aise question puch lete hain all right this question should have been attempted simply to it simply talks about sodium lamp and led lamps mein difference aaj ke time mein hamare ghar pe we find led lamps par If you go back to our childhood, we we found sodium lamps. So just we only recall that. So those tube lights were there. Childhood, me, there were tube lights. There were circular, cylindrical shape. There were and light was emitted into all direction, 360 degree. So this is correct. Whereas LED, it is a rectangular shape and light is emitted in the fixed direction. For that, it says that sodium lamps have longer life. No LED have a uh, larger life. That's why we are talking about energy efficiency, right? then as, uh, if you talk about sodium lamp yes they have the spectrum of visible light only but when it comes to led we can generate many different colored lights so it has different spectrum it is not monochromatic so answer was one and three correct so c was the answer so simple question yes these two bahut logo nahi pata tha to isliye nahi pata hai ka but it was current mein tha chalo nahi bhi aata ek question chhod do it was basically regarding spectro biological series then comes same six science ka question tha but is space technology mein aapne padha hoga how we measure distance between earth and sun between earth and other planets or any body that is traveling in the space we measure using light years and why because light here has this always uh, constant speed 3 into 10 to square 8 meter per second that's why we use it simple question tha koi wo nahi tha toughness Now let's look at the polity section. जो कुछ है इतने easy question आए थे polity के and everyone's के लिए like क्या क्या question पूछ लिए इतने easy questions आए थे last year मैं ये नहीं कह रहा कि इस साल easy आएंगे tough भी आएंगे पर कौन से attempt हो रहे seventy seven should have been attempted ये directly line basically लक्ष्मी का answer पूछ लिया अगर ये question attempt हो मतलब आपने लक्ष्मी का अच्छे से नहीं पढ़ी इसका simply question था answer one was correct two was wrong so simply this question was asked from the लक्ष्मी का I don't think so I need to explain this this self explainable ऑप्शन से इसके राइट सेवेंटी नाइन राइट टू प्रेवेसी इतना न्यूज में पुटू स्वामी केस जजमेंट और यूपीएससी ने किसके अंदर रीड किया था आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी वन सॉरी राइट टू लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी और उसके अंदर कहते इंटरप्रेट किया कि इट हैज वाइटल डेफिनेशन फॉर द ह्यूमन एग्जिस्टेंस राइट टू लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी ऑल्सो इंक्लूड्स राइट टू प्रेवेसी सो दिस वॉज द्वेश्चन सो वेर इज इट टफनेस इन दिस क्वेश्चन सिंपल If you look at seventy-eight, yes, it was tough because it was based on post-independence question. So we do find challenge in attempting this, but still we can attempt a question. There was no toughness. मतलब attempt कर सकते हो अगर आपने पढ़ रहे हो तो इस it is not possible. So committees, तो committee के बारे में तो हम क्या पढ़ते हैं usually pre के लिए committee और committee का head कौन था, right? We hardly study उस committee की recommendation क्या थी. तो ऐसी question क्या है छोड़ी तो हमने नहीं पढ़ा था और don't start स्टडिंग इन लेफ्ट की हर कमेटी की आपको रिकमेंडेशन पढ़नी है ऐसे क्या क्या पढ़ोगे आप पर यस पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस इमर्ज हो रहा है टॉपिक फ्रॉम लास्ट टू टू थ्री इयर्स तो आपको थोड़ी बेसिक बेसिक आपको अच्छी नॉलेज होनी चाहिए अबाउट पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस कुछ तो छोड़ना नहीं क्वेश्चन ये तो ऐसे क्वेश्चन ये है इसका आंसर क्या था इस आंसर वॉज सी सो बोथ आर करेक्ट तो फॉर दी नेक्स्ट ईयर पर्पज ये स्टेटमेंट आपको पढ़ना चाहिए ट्रू है now it it yet question everyone thought questions was wrong or you can say everyone thought ki how are we supposed to attempt post independence paper hum nahi kar sakte yes looking at the second option we don't know shri devilnal from how many constituencies he contested but still we need to have a look at the question first let's look at it says india there is no law restricting candidates from contesting in one lok sabha election from three constituencies simply wrong option because rpa act under section 337 directly bolta hai ki ek candidate wo do constituency se three contest kar sakta hai matlab maximum 
तभी मोदी जी ने भी दो से तो सिंपली जिस ऑप्शन का स्ट्रॉन्ग तो अगर हम वन देखिए वन इज स्ट्रॉन्ग तो हमारे देखो दो ऑप्शन तो ऐसे रॉन्ग होगी तो अब हम फर्स्ट गेट टू इज करेक्ट तो टू इज करेक्ट पर हमें अब देखना थ्री इज करेक्ट और नॉट सो इट सीज एज पर एक्जिस्टिंग रूल्स इफ द कैंडिडेट कंटेस्ट इन वन लोकसभा इलेक्शन फ्रॉम मेनी कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसीज हिज और हर पार्टी शुड बेयर द कॉस्ट ऑफ बाय इलेक्शन टू ए कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसीज लोकेटेड बाय हिम और हर इन द इवेंट ऑफ हिम और हर विनिंग इन ऑल द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसीज नो ऑल द इलेक्शंस फॉर द By election, sorry, cost of the by elections are borne by the election commission of India. So no cost is borne by the party. So the statement was automatically wrong. So answer was B. So basic toughness in the question. Is this problem? Why we are scared? So a fear factor is there. So we are not able to attempt. So now similarly, eighty-first question. This question was asked. So now similarly, eighty-first question. This question was asked. So now similarly, eighty-first question. This question was asked. So now similarly, eighty-first question. This question was asked. So now similarly, eighty-first question. This question was asked. एंड करंट अफेयर में भी मेंशन नहीं था तो ऐसे क्वेश्चन छोड़ दो आंसर वाज बेसिकली वन एंड टू आर करेक्ट पर ऐसे क्वेश्चन छोड़ दो डोंट लुक एट सच क्वेश्चंस सम क्वेश्चंस कुड बी देयर व्हिच आर बाउंसेस एंड आर टू बी लेफ्ट इफ यू लुक एट 83rd क्वेश्चन टॉक्स अबाउट व्हेन अ प्रिजनर मेक्स आउट अ सफिशिएंट केस परोल कैन नॉट बी डिनाइड टू सच प्रिजनर बिकॉज़ इट बिकम्स अ मैटर ऑफ हिज और राइट नो परोल इज नॉट द आर राइट रादर वी कैन जस्ट फाइल अ क्या कहते हैं petition in the court he please grant us some parole for some period but it's the discretion of the court whether it has to give parole or not it is not the uh kya kehte hai right of the citizen so it can be denied so this statement was wrong similarly it talks for state government have their own prisoner release on parole rules so simply it says ki yes it is a correct statement because state governments because jail is a state subject so yes the state have the rights to uh, frame the rules regarding parole also so simply it was a question basically based on the constitutional uh, power so seven schedule mein state list union list us pe question tha aur koi tough nahi tha is pe aur jail waisi itna news mein rehta hai aaj ko right then then if you look at 84th question right question simple question simply talks about ye jo act hai सिंपली हम क्या बोलते हैं एफ आर ए एक्ट बोलते हैं इसकी फुल फॉर्म लिख दी तो सबको लगा कि ये कौन सा एक्ट आ गया तो यू शुड बी वेल अवेयर ऑफ द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ द एक्ट ऑल्सो नॉट जस्ट गो आफ्टर एक्रोनिम्स एब्रीवेशन पे नहीं आना सिंपली इट इज क्लियरली मैश इट इज अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्राइबल अफेयर सो वेर सी टफनेस इन दिस क्वेश्चन आई डोट थिंक सो इजी सिमिलरली क्वेश्चन इट ऑक्स फॉर द लेजिस्लेशन विच कन्फर्स ऑन कन्फर्स ऑन द एग्जीक्यूटिव और एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एंड अनगाइडेड एंड अनकोल्ड control discretionary power to kare ki this is parliament or has uncontrolled power law ke through uncontrolled power so it it goes the against the concept of limits limited government concept to constitution provide karta hai under article 14 so simply it was violative of article 14 article 14 bolta hai rule of law and under it says there is a check and balance rule of law limited government no, not ruled by men and also no one enjoys arbitrary powers so simply simple question where's the toughness in it we talk about 82nd it simply talks about judicial custody so you should be well aware of there agar ye question nahi aata chhod do nahi pata tha kahin ko so there are two types of custody you should be aware of police custody and judicial custody all right when a person gets arrested first day he is kept at the police station then after within 24 hours he is presented before judicial magistrate तो जुडिशियल मजिस्ट्रेट डिसाइड करते हैं वेदर ही नीड्स टू बी केप्ट इन जेल और शुड बी रिलीज सो फॉर नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन डेज अगर जुडिशियल मजिस्ट्रेट अलाउ करता है सो नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन डेज ही इज केप्ट इन दी पुलिस स्टेशन इट सेल्फ सो ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड पुलिस स्टेशन में जो होता है वॉट इज हैपनिंग पुलिस कैन इंटेरोगेट ऑल इट पुलिस स्टेशन में बट आफ्टर फिफ्टीन डेज अगर जुडिशियल मजिस्ट्रेट फिर से एक्सटेंड करते हैं उसका अरेस्ट देन ही इज केप्ट इन दी जुडिशियल कस्टडी एंड इन स्टेट प्रिजेंस स्टेट और सेंट्रल प्रिजेंस तो जेल में रखा जाता है and during this period what police cannot interrogate him or her so ye the answer ye the question i don't need pata ye actually news mein kyu tha aana chahiye waise this was basically police custody and judicial custody was in news due to priya chakravarty incident like she was uh, arrested due to murder of sushant singh rajput and also drug case so she was arrested so very beautiful article came in in the textbooks mein clearly mentioned the police custody and judicial custody ke bare mein So it shows you are reading read read the newspaper properly. Otherwise, it's okay. If you don't get it, then question is over.
Okay, answer was only second was correct. So where is the toughness in the question? I don't think so in in this polity question, except right to city part, there was no question that could couldn't have been attempted. Again, easy question. Eighty six. It talks about essential feature of federal in character. Lakshmi Gandhi clearly federal features ke main features mentioned hai. Or one of the features is independence of judiciary is must to ensure or you can resolve the disputes between the central and state. So simply. आंख बंद करके भी आंसर मार्क से ए और इट 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 इफ यू लुक एट इट टॉक्स अबाउट एनी रिटायर्ड जज ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट कैन बी कॉल्ड बैक एंड कॉल बैक टू सिट एंड एक्ट एज अ सुप्रीम कोर्ट जज बाय द सीजीआई विद द परमिशन ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया इट इट इज क्लियरली मेंशन इन आर्टिकल 126 आर्टिकल 124 टू 146 डील्स विद द आर सुप्रीम कोर्ट राइट तो इफ यू आर रेड द Lakshmi Kant properly, this question should have been attempted. First is right. Then High Court in India has the power to review its own judgment as a Supreme Court. Supreme Court does yes. Article one twenty nine clearly says that. So answer was C. Basic difficulty in this question. If you look at eighty ninth question, it says there is only one citizenship and one domicile. Yes, Constitution gets the one citizenship. That means you are Indian. Then domicile means वो आपका जो residence of birth होता है तो आपका एक ही domicile होता है तो जहाँ पे आप रह रहे हो you can't say कि I am the domicile of both Haryana Punjab या Haryana Tamil Nadu no only one domicile तो first is right then it says a birth citizen by birth can only become uh, only can become head of state कोई कहते हैं absolute statement के लिए ये तो वैसे ही wrong होगी अगर वैसे भी statement read करे head of state को तो president होता है तो president कोई भी बन सकता है बस रिक्वायरमेंट के हीज टू बी सिटीजन सो इट नीड नॉट बी सिटीजन बाई बर्थ नेशनलाइजेशन से भी हो सकता है सेकेंड इज रॉन्ग फर्स्ट इज करेक्ट नो बी सेकेंड वन एंड थ्री फॉरनर वन ग्रांटेड सिटीजन कैन नॉट बी डिप्लाइड ऑफ इट दिस इज स्ट्रॉन्ग अगर अगर रूल वायलेट करेगा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पर डिसरिस्पेक्ट करेगा दिस सिटीजन कैन बी डिप्लाइड ऑफ दैट मीन्स थ्री इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग सो वन इज करेक्ट सो वीज ए डिफिकल्टी इफ यू लुक एट नाइनटी एथ क्वेश्चन इट सेज We show the following factors constitute the best safeguard of liberty in a liberal democracy. So liberty, liberty protect only like this. There should be absence of restraints. So it simply indirectly saying limit limited government. Okay. So limited government or liberty protect be only. So what is need of our is separation of power. But yes, you should be well aware of there was confusion between uh, students. The answer A B is that. Committed judiciary doesn't mean it is committed towards the protection of fundamental fundamental rights. What it means is that committed judiciary it favors the uh, government. So all the verdicts are in the favor of the government. So we have committed judiciary, committed bureaucracy. It basically means they are favor of the uh, government. So basically, non-partisanship is violated in such cases. So come. So this judiciary uh, bureaucracy is showing the partisanship. जो आपकी value करते हो in ethics. So nineteenth easy था, eighty seven अच्छा question था. What do you mean by state? अब देखो हर कोई बोलते हैं state की definition के Paul Sainz वालों को आती होगी. No, even G S students is no uh, well aware of state. N C I T पढ़ो तो सही है एक बार. N C I T में clearly mention है what is state? State is a political institution that represents the people residing in a definite territory. That's the definition. उसके according हम देखे तो A and B satisfy होता है. Now we are confused between A and B. A and B में difference अगर आप देखोगे तो it talks about कि That community of person that is occupying a definite territory, they they are exercising the power independent of external control. So basically, it talks it talks about sovereignty also. So so this differentiate A and B. So answer is A. So basically, it's just testing your basics. So you have to break up all the keywords and then read this statement. So this question can be attempted. Ninety first. डाइट क्वेश्चन कंसिडरेशन ऑफ वेल्थ से भी आपके दिमाग में आना चाहिए अंडर आर्टिकल थर्टी एट क्लियरली मैंशन है प्रिवेंशन ऑफ कंसिडरेशन ऑफ वेल्थ ये हमारा के डी पी एस पी सो नो सेकेंड थॉट ओवर अदर पॉइंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल गवर्नमेंट वही सेम कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन गवर्नमेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म बेस्ड तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन क्या प्रोवाइड करता है इट डिवाइड दी पावर बिटवीन डिफरेंट ऑर्गन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एंड ऑल्सो इन शोर दे इज नो आर्बिटेरिनेस तो आर्टिकल फोर्टीन क्या कहता है कि दे शो भी लिमिटेड गवर्नमेंट सो उसके अकॉर्डिंग आंसर शुड बी डी सो डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन शुड हैव बीन अटेम्प्टेड फॉर नाइनटी फिफ्थ अगर आपने एनसीआर टी रीड करो ह्यूमन जोग्राफी वाली आंसर क्लियरली मैंशन है उसमें हो ट्राइब हो लैंग्वेज तो ट्राइबल लैंग्वेज ट्राइबल वाला टॉपिक 
लैंग्वेज इतना न्यूज में था तो आपको आना चाहिए तो ये क्वेश्चन इजिली हो जाना चाहिए था एंड दीज आर दाइप्स ऑफ दॉर्थ ईस्ट और क्वेश्चन हो जाना चाहिए था पर ये नाउ आपको पता चाहिए हल्पी हो कोई ये कहाँ कहाँ की ट्राइब्स है और कहाँ रहती है और क्या लैंग्वेज है तो यू शुड वेल अवेयर ऑफ इजी क्वेश्चन नाइनटी सेकेंड इज जस्ट शोज की आपने एनसीआर टी नीट की तभी आपसे हुआ नहीं नाइनटी सेकेंड हम देखें राइट टू प्रॉपर्टी यू नो फोर्टी फोर्थ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट एक्ट ने फंडामेंटल राइट से उसको लीगल राइट बना दिया था तो ये तो है ही नहीं आंसर और तो बच्चा लीगल राइट है नो कम्स लीगल राइट सिर्फ सिटीजन को है किसी को भी कोई भी इंडिया में आके प्रॉपर्टी खरीद सकता है इवन एनआरआईज फॉरनर्स प्रोवाइड सम कंस्ट्रक्शन रिस्ट्रिक्शन होती है कि कुछ लैंड कुछ जैसे एग्रीकल्चर लैंड नहीं खरीद सकते पर येस दे कैन बाई लैंड इट्स अवेलेबल टू ऑल पर्सन नाइनटी थर्ड इफ यू लुक एट एक्जैक्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन स्टेटस ऑफ इंडिया ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स जनवरी सर टाइट क्वेश्चन इट्स इज आस्किंग कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन स्टेटस क्या था टेम्पल में क्लियरली मैंशन है वी दी पीपल ऑफ इंडिया हैविंग सॉलमली रिजॉल्व टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूट इंडिया इन टू डेमोक्रेटिक सोशलिस्ट सॉवरन डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक सेक्युलर एक होता है तो हमें पता है तो ये टर्म जो थी दो टर्म सेक्युलर एंड सोशलिस्ट ये कब एड हुई थी थ्रू फोर्टी सेकेंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट तो ये तो है ही नहीं तो टेम्पल उस टाइम क्या था सिंपली टॉक्स वॉट सॉवरन डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक सो आंसर वॉज पी सो दिस वॉज दंसर प्रियम्बल से उठाया था बस इफ यू लुक एट नाइनटी सिक्स क्वेश्चन इट टॉक्स वॉट दीज अवार्ड भारत रत्न एंड पदमा अवार्ड्स बहुत न्यूज में था लास्ट ईयर सो नाउ फर्स्ट अगर ऑप्शन देखिए हम भारत रत्न एंड पदमा अवार्ड्स आर टाइटल्स अंडर दी आर्टिकल एटीन इट सीज आर्टिकल में क्लियरली मैंशन अवार्ड्स में आर्टिकल सीज की गवर्नमेंट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ मेरिट कैन ग्रांड सम अवार्ड्स तो एंड बाय लॉ दे कैन कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अवार्ड्स तो दीज अवार्ड्स हैव बीन कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड अंडर लॉ नॉट अंडर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया सो फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज रॉन्ग राइट फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज रॉन्ग इट ऑक्सफर्ड नॉट तो आंसर हमारा कोई भी हो सकता है ए सी डी ऐसा क्वेश्चन ऐसे छोड़ने वाला होता है देन इट ऑक्सफर्ड नंबर ऑफ भारत रत्न इज रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू मैक्सिम फाइव इन पर्टिकुलर ईयर इसमें सेक्शन टू है भारत रत्न कितने को भी दे सकते हैं तो थ्री इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग तो वन एंड थ्री तो सी एंड डी में हम फर्स्ट के टू भी हमें पता नहीं है क्या है तो ऐसे क्वेश्चन छोड़ दो पर ये पर ये पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंट इसमें क्या सीखना है पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस बेस्ट क्वेश्चन है तो आपको पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस का पढ़ना है ये इसका आपका वो है सीखने वाला दिस वॉज करेक्ट तो आंसर वॉज वन एंड थ्री ये क्वेश्चन है नाइनटी सेवन अगर हम देखें तो नाइनटी सेवन में क्या है बेसिकली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देखो ये क्वेश्चन अगर करंट अफेयर आपने पढ़ा था तो देखो हो जाएगा अथवा इस छोड़ दो क्वेश्चन कोई गैस वक्त नहीं मानना और इसमें क्या है सेकेंड वॉज करेक्ट फर्स्ट वॉज रॉन्ग फर्स्ट वॉज रॉन्ग क्यों था ऑल दो हैदराबाद वॉज डिक्लेयर एज ट्री सिटी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड आर्बर डे फाउंडेशन का पर इंस्टेड ऑफ यू एन सी डी एफ देर वॉज फाउ फाउ इन्वॉल्व था बस ये डिफरेंस था इसलिए फर्स्ट वॉज रॉन्ग सेकेंड वॉज राइट तो आंसर वॉज डी पर अदरवाइज ऐसे क्वेश्चन छोड़ दो पर येस करंट अफेयर अच्छे से पढ़ो अगर एक बुक फॉलो करनी है अगर उसके बेस पे क्वेश्चन आ रहा है ठीक है छोड़ दो क्वेश्चन छोड़ने वाले क्वेश्चन होते हैं अब देखो अब लास्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन हम देखेंगे ये स्पोर्ट्स पे है वाई यू के सी है लास्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन ऑन दी स्पोर्ट्स इट वॉज मेनली बिकॉज लास्ट ईयर स्पोर्ट्स बहुत न्यूज में था कॉन्टिन्यूसली फॉर थ्री फोर मंथ्स तो टोक्यो ओलंपिक्स वॉज इन न्यूज तो टोक्यो ओलंपिक्स एक तो न्यूज में क्यों था एक तो न्यूज स्पोर्ट्स एड हुई थी देन ऑल्सो मोटो चेंज हुआ था मोटो क्या चेंज हुआ था पहले इट्स मोटो वॉज फास्टर हायर स्ट्रॉगर ये था बट ड्यू टू कोविड कोविड वैसे वो पोस्टपोन भी होता है ओलंपिक्स तो इन्होंने एक और वर्ड ऐड कर दिया था टुगेदर सो ये था इसका मोटो इसलिए क्वेश्चन पूछा पर ये न्यूज में भी बहुत था तो इसलिए ऐसे देखो स्पोर्ट्स का ये नहीं कि आप हर स्पोर्ट्स का क्वेश्चन पढ़ने लग जाओगे जैसे मेनी ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट कर भी रही नो इसमें लेसन आपने ये सीखना अगर कोई टॉपिक को बहुत ज्यादा न्यूज में था तो यूपीएससी क्वेश्चन पूछेगा उससे उसके बारे में आपको पता होना चाहिए तो टोक्यो वॉज इन न्यूज तो इसलिए आया क्वेश्चन ओके तो न्यू वर्ल्ड बेसिकली क्या था इनका मैस्कट था नॉट मोटो था तो ये था बेसिकली तो वन वॉज रॉन्ग टू वॉज करेक्ट तो दिस वॉज आंसर पर इसमें सीखना पड़ेगा तो एक और आपको लेसन का दिन है अब न्यूज में क्या है बीजिंग ओलंपिक्स था न्यूज में गवर्नमेंट ने बॉयकॉट किया था इसे एंड वन इंडियन पार्टिसिपेटेड सोशल अवेयर ऑफ किस इंडियन ने पार्टिसिपेट किया किस इवेंट में पार्टिसिपेट किया था और बीजिंग ओलंपिक्स था इसमें कितने इवेंट्स थे कोई न्यू इवेंट तो नहीं एड हुआ उसका मोटो क्या था और गवर्नमेंट ने क्यों नहीं पार्टिसिपेट किया था ये बेसिक इन्फॉर्मेशन बट ड
तो इसलिए न्यूज में आता और कॉन्ट्रीवर्सी क्या थी इंग्लैंड वर्सेज न्यूजीलैंड जो सेकंड पोजीशन थी जिसने इंडिया को फाइट करना था तो दे वाज कॉन्ट्रीवर्सी बिटवीन इंडिया एंड इंग्लैंड तो उनके बीच में थोड़ी सी ट्रसल चल रही थी इसलिए यूपीएससी ने क्वेश्चन फ्रेम कर दिया अदरवाइज यू डोंट हैव टू रीड अबाउट ऑल दिस थिंग्स अगर कोई स्पोर्ट्स का ये फ्रंट पेज पे अगर न्यूज आ रहा है तो मतलब वो तब पढ़ो फिर यू डोंट हैव टू गो आफ्टर जो 13 14 पेज पे होता है स्पोर्ट्स वाला वो खोल के नहीं देखना अगर फर्स्ट पेज पे कुछ आ रहे हैं स्पोर्ट्स के बारे में तो मेंशन कर दो बस ओके यूपीएससी ने पास्ट में भी पूछे स्पोर्ट्स के क्वेश्चन में डिनाई नहीं करूंगा डीआरएस सिस्टम पे आया हुआ है क्वेश्चन राइट ओलंपिक्स पे भी क्वेश्चन आया था मेंस में तो अगर वो इसलिए आया क्योंकि अगर अगर बहुत मेजर चेंज होते हैं कि स्पोर्ट्स में न्यूज़ में रहता है आर्टिकल सारे होते हैं तो कुछ चाहिए पेज पर 98 क्वेश्चन ये नहीं करना ये क्वेश्चन बाउंसर क्वेश्चन है छोड़ने वाला क्वेश्चन था जो किसी भी पता नहीं पता है छोड़ दो बस हमें नहीं पता होता तो ऐसे क्वेश्चन छोड़ दो बस डोंट वरी अबाउट सच थिंग्स पर छोड़ना आना चाहिए और आल्सो डू कीप इन माइंड अगर हम एनालिसिस देखें यूपीएससी ने लास्ट ईयर सोसाइटी एंड आईआर पे क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछा पर दैट डजंट मीन कि यूपीएससी फ्यूचर में नहीं पूछेगी इन पे अगले साल पूछ सकती है चाहे ज्यादा क्वेश्चन आ जाए पर ओवरऑल एनालिसिस हमने करी तो हमें देखो हमें एक चीज पता चली कि यूपीएससी के प्रति बैलेंस रखे है पेपर को एक क्वेश्चन अगर किसी कोई क्वेश्चन टफ है तो और कोई क्वेश्चन बहुत इजी भी बनाएगी और कुछ क्वेश्चन मिडिय के लेवल पे आएंगे पर ये जस्ट कि आपके क्वेश्चन कैसे अटैम्प्ट हो सकते हैं अगर आपकी बेसिक स्ट्रॉग होगी देन ऑफकोर्स यू कैन अटैम्प्ट सच क्वेश्चन सो टू सो यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस मोर एंड मोर क्वेश्चन एंड बिल्ड योर बेसिक स्ट्रॉन्ग तभी आप अटैम्प्ट कर पाओगे क्वेश्चन अदरवाइज यू कॉन्ट सो एंड एक फियर रिमूव करो एंड एंड कीपर सोर्सेज लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेज लिमिटेड होंगे उसको बार बार रिवाइज करो तभी आपका पेपर रहेगा अदरवाइज यू विल फील चैलेंज इन अटेम्प्टिंग सच क्वेश्चन दिस इज अर यू पी एस सी दे आर जस्ट टेस्टिंग योर बेसिक्स एंड एट द सेम टाइम कीप स्टडिंग करंट अफेयर मेनटेन अ बैलेंस बिटवीन बेसिक्स एंड करंट अफेयर एंड डू रीड एन सी आर टीज यू हैव सीन लॉर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर बिंग आस फ्रॉम एन सी आर टीज टाइप टू सो एन सी आर टीज आर मच इफ एनिमन सीज नो नो नीड टू रीड एन सी आर टी नो दे आर फूल्स उनका थ्रू लव दे आर एबल टू क्लियर दी प्रेलिम्स बट नो We can't take such risk. NCERTs are like Bible. They are Gita, Quran for us UPSC aspirants. So you have to read it. Okay. So uh, I hope this session was really helpful to you all. Please do share these videos with with others, and do help others so that they can also learn from this analysis and and they, and they can also clear the prelims. And also please do share, subscribe this channel, and please do comment and do let me know. Uh, about the feedback how you liked this video and if you want more such videos please do mention in the comment section to uh, make another analysis video of 2020 uh, paper so that if if you'll keep showing the support from 2021 till up till 2013 i'll make all the analysis of i'll do the analysis of all the previous year paper so please do show support to like share comment and subscribe the channel so that you can get to know in future whenever i upload the video very soon i'll upload it so you will get notified so do do that please thank you so much have a nice day ahead